This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and today we're backstage at the 2009 Hoot Nanny with Roger Allen Wade and Johnny Knoxville. Johnny is your cousin, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Getting to make music and it be a part of our family is one of the great blessings in my life. It kept me alive. And I mean that literally. I mean, my fat ass was almost dead here. You've written songs for Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and Hank. Did they come to you and say, this is what we want the song to be about? Or did they just hear your song and say, we love those songs, we want to cover them? This was Hank Jr. I'm talking about. A few of more mistakes. I mean, that literally country state of mind was, he was supposed to be listening to another song, and he cued that one up wrong and it sounded like a bread commercial my demo of it so i still don't know why in the hell he recorded that but it became a number one record and we spent every nickel at a fireworks stand <laughs> well, tell me about the serious radio show it's the most fun i've ever had that uh, revolves around music you know because uh with your clothes on with my clothes on yeah. and we're always just trying to entertain one another it's and and it's really all about that for me i was telling pontius and handsome jack on the way out here i'm like it's literally me and Raj talking on the phone, pretty much just telling all our old shitty jokes, and it's the highlight of my week. And there's, we don't think about what we're saying before we go on because we should, but we don't. It's just a free for all. The best part of the show is when Knox sings at the end of it, which and and he's a true stylist. Nobody sings like Knox. Right. That, that's a nice way to say I suck. No, he, <laughs> it's totally unique. A, a stylist. That, <laughs> That old Woody Guthrie song, uh, Knox had sent it to me to do it for Naomi one time. It's called Ain't Nobody Can Sing Like Me. And truly, nobody can sing like Knox. Yeah, some people's voice can break a glass, mine can split a stump. Nice. <laughs> Johnny, what do you think it is about Roger's music that touches a chord in people? His music is honest, and people respond to that. Knox had found somebody to give me a record deal. And, and, and just coincidentally, in my horoscope that day, the day I got it, it said this is the end of a 29-year low. <laughs> and and I, did, I got to counting, and it had been 29 years of nothing. <laughs> so I was, that, and then we gone on, and now we got Johnny Knoxville Records. The, I mean, it's just amazing. Make records like they ought to be made, man. Just total, um, just total honesty. And our friend Chris Pontius has been just elemental in that, you know, just his knowledge of the technical things here's mr pontius <laughs> like i was like all right that that sounds good crisp man he's on top of all this stuff and knows it inside out and cares about music and cares about getting you know really capturing the moment what do you love about being here at the 2009 hoot nanny you feel like you're coming to a family reunion yeah more than being at some kind of uh hi-hat festival man it's my favorite thing we do I just adore the Hoot Nanny, and they're always so kind to us. It's nothing but positivity and fun coming out the Hoot Nanny. What is the secret to your sobriety on the road right now? In all honesty, I hadn't had any temptation. It doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. It just, uh, I know how it turns out. When I do this, this happens. If I, if I drink me some whiskey, I'll be calling a dealer, you know, and I ain't no way around it. I just, that's just what I do. And I, I know how it turns out. I don't really just... Uh, I couldn't disappoint my Trissy, my children, uh, Knox, my parents, myself, uh, um, and I'm just so pleased with the results of not being a junkie no more. I, I, I'm pleased with the results of being an ex-junkie because I got a lot of ammunition. Uh, it gives you a lot of love for others because I ain't seen nobody anywhere that's screwed up worse than I have, so it gives me a lot of patience and a lot of genuine love and knowing that a man can be redeemed. Uh, and so this is the best days of my life. I've had a very extended adolescence, but now yeah. it's uh, it's really fun growing up. Now it's just night and day, and he's healthy and strong, and I, I couldn't be more proud of him than anything he's ever done in his life, and I am blown away. Johnny, how have you seen Roger's sobriety affect the people around him? When you know someone you love is in a healthy place for the first time in their life, really. I'm not yeah, lying really. when I say that. He, he, Roger's just a different person. I, I've always wanted Roger to tour and get out there and see more people, and he never, you never really did, and I weren't really capable. able. You weren't able, and now he's touring the country, and people, he gets a great, people love him, and we have a radio show, and he's there every time. He's always there 10 minutes before I am, and it's, 
I'm I'm uh, the irresponsible one now, and I just and it's affected uh, you know every relationship he's had with the relationship with himself, his family, his daughters, Tristan, me. I mean, he's always nothing but about love, but now it's just he's about love and getting shit done. When you decided to get sober, did you think this might affect my songwriting ability? Oh, uh, man, that's a good question because, yeah, that scared me for a long time, you know. Mm. Uh, and it probably has, but I think in a positive way, you know. I, but you get, I think we're sold the idea as writers and, and performers that, you know, all our heroes got screwed up all the time. And you're sold this idea of that's how they got in that place. But I've come to discover drugs and alcohol don't enhance the process. They just really get in the way, you know. And, and I don't want my heroes, you know, in baseball, it disappoints you to hear that so-and-so did all his great work on steroids, the same way it should in art and literature, to me, to hear they did it cheating. It's a little different, though, because, like, with... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just, because it's important, because steroids enhance your performance, drugs don't. Like, the, the, like drugs and alcohol, they don't make you a great songwriter. You're a great songwriter who happens to do drugs and alcohol. You know, right. it's it's there's a difference. Like steroids will make you a better baseball player if you have a knack in that field. But no matter if you can't write a song, drugs and alcohol ain't going to help. It's just going to. You're a great songwriter in. And, and singer and uh, and steroids will shrink your gym dog. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. What? No, mine well, was. I took them in, when I was fifteen. <laughs> me and my whole football team in high school, we took them. Our, actually, I was a senior. We got everyone on the team on steroids, and uh, it doesn't affect your penis because mine was small before. It makes your balls shrink up because they have nothing to do because you're getting testosterone synthetically. So they're like. Well, I ain't got nothing to do with <laughs> But we got the whole team on steroids and still went one in ten. <laughs> I mean, if we're coming clean, let's come yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, what is the craziest thing you've done with the Jackass Boys not on camera? You know, Knox has really protected me from that. And, uh, and, and with good reason. Yeah, because, I mean, he would always... Because I guess I was just a big baby, but he, all the guys, I, one thing I was proudest of him was the quality of his friends. You know, they're nuts, but they're some of the kindest, gentlest people. Johnny, what inspires you the most about Roger? His sweetness. And I was thinking as you were singing today, you were like the, the, the perfect mixture of... Uh, gentleness and sweetness and talent and pissed off <laughs> your pissed off only comes off in the your songwriting and uh everything else is all love it just is his his goodness and i didn't mean to not talk about your pick and he gets pretty pissed if he <laughs> if i don't brag on his pick and he can pick the strings off that thing <laughs> You guys are you, now. You just admitted you guys are mama's boys. Oh, oh yeah, well, that's I, not respected in like the man's world. Well, they can go shit in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. We are real mama's babies. The worst. Mama's baby, papa's baby. They said my mama had to stand on the steps so I could nurse when I was 12, <laughs> 12 years old. <laughs> he was like six foot at twelve years old, like big biggest guy on the team my uncle said phyllis gotta stand up there on the stairs so he can still nurse knoxville what are we looking for as far as more releases from roger like how how are you pushing that and making it happen for him i think uh pontius has got some machine they'll play a click track so you know you can record some songs and play your guitar and you can add instruments to it while you're in town if you want eric i don't mean to shit in your tea kettle here but can we plug our radio show? I gotta go sell some t-shirts. Hey, no, we, no. Hey, we took a real fucking wash last night on the t-shirt and CD sales because Hey, of, brother, uh, you feel free to plug whatever you want on here except me. Hey, well, that was my next idea. <laughs> my name's Eric Blair. <laughs>
Go uh, for it. <laughs> Sirius Radio, let's talk about it. When is the show on? When pe- can people hear it? Saturday night, uh, the Big Ass Happy Family Jubilee on the Outlaw Country Channel on Sirius XM. It comes on at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, and uh, I don't know the channels it's on. I just know it's Outlaw, so... 63 on Sirius and 12 on XM. <laughs> wow. See? Yeah. He's the responsible one. <laughs> Roger, Johnny, it's been great having you guys on the show today. Thank you, thank you very much, Johnny. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for doing what I you're doing. I appreciate man. you being so prepared and asking good questions and thoughtful questions. You're no problem, buddy. Yeah. All right, blaring out with Eric Blair with Roger and Johnny signing off. The Blaring Out Show.